Ladies and germs, it is your best friend Lusion, and I got a very different yet fast and informative video for all you freaks out there getting frustrated with machine, because as a user friendly as it may seem, it's still quite a confusing little b With that being said, here is everything you need to know about machine to start making beats. First off, when you have a sample loaded up and you click on it to listen, the more times you click, it will loop over itself endlessly unless you go to voice settings, polyphony, and then that figure eight to legato. Problem solved. Next, if you wish to change the tempo of a sample but keep the same pitch, cruise on over to your sample bar, click on stretch at the end, and double tap on new BPM and enter your new BPM. Pretty self-explanatory. But let's say you want the pitch to change but keep the same tempo. Hover over tune, Press down and scroll up or down till you're liking. Make sure your source and new BPM is at the same tempo. Boom. Now let's say you have an 808 sample that you want truncated without clipping it. Go over to pitch slash envelope, switch one shot to ADSR, which stands for these four guys. Press down on release and drag down until you reach 2.9 milliseconds. Oh, and while you're there, go ahead and reverse the sample if you wish by clicking Great job. If you have hatred for pineapple and pizza and the way this doll looks, no need to fret. Just go back to the top screen, click on these jail cell bars, and voila, you now feel like you're really doing something. Going back to the topic of 808s, if you wish to have some distortion, hit the cell bars again, hit the addition sign, internal, and yep, you guessed it, lo-fi. <laughs> Just kidding, you're gonna hit distortion and switch from the analog mode to Mool Holland. As that may be too raunchy, mess around with the knobs, but a quick fix is to just bring down the output mix to under 20% or so. Now let's say you want to use some nice brass in your beat. Well, tough luck. Machine stock horns sound like they came from this. But with the knowledge that Alexander Graham Bell taught me himself, what? if you head back to internal, select beat delay and metaverb. By the way, metaverb is way better than reverb. It's true, so use it. Put the output below 20, and the size around 60. Then go to beat delay, select 4 slash 16, feedback to 75 or so, and then the mix down a notch, you'll get some pretty nice sounding horns. As far as arrangement goes, you are limited compared to your average DAW, but a few tricks that will help you arrange much faster are, control click or right click on the scene, Duplicate to create a new scene. If you don't want the drums to play in this scene, click on the pattern and delete that smash button, baby. Or let's say you want to create a breath before the drums come back in. Click the pattern again, highlight all the notes by dragging or pressing Command A, copy the notes, then cruise back to the pattern, select, and smash that delete button, baby. This will create a new pattern which allows you to modify the notes. And one last thing. To create a longer pattern, simply go to pattern length, select it, and drag or type it in. That's all, folks. Congratulations. You are now sort of an expert at machine. Kind of. Well, folks, that is all I have for you in this tutorial. I really hope this helped many of you, as I myself knows how frustrating a new DAW can be. If you wish to see more Flash tutorials like this one, please let me know in the comments and like that smash button, baby. And obviously subscribe if you wish to be a fellow lady or germ. Until then, y'all, this is your boy Lusion. Peace and blessings. <laughs> Watch!